Southern Guinea, with the world's largest untapped iron ore deposits, has been referred to as the El Dorado of iron ore. Which is why global mining powerhouses drew up hefty contracts, the most notable, a $20 billion venture, Africa's largest ever proposed mining deal. But then Ebola struck, scaring away foreign investors and grinding the industry to a halt as corporate representatives and contractors fled and frightened employees stopped showing up for work. A year later, an industry supporting 25 percent of Guinea's economy is in limbo. Mining giants Rio Tinto, Vale and BHP are staying the course here with their plans for expansion. However, with the continued spread of Ebola, none of those giants reportedly has a plan for recovery. Nor are there recovery plans for Guinea's bauxite, gold or diamond mining sectors. Pre-Ebola, this diamond mine bustled with more than a thousand workers. Now the labor force numbers 150. The ripple effect is ongoing. My boss who supports me doesn't have money, so I've had to lay off my workers because since Ebola started, investors have been pulling out. I've had to lay a lot of them off. Production here is down by 65 percent and lacking funding for the type of heavy machinery that enables deep mining where the diamonds actually are means the bare bones work staff is limited to skimming the surface. Corporate investors, either no longer in Guinea or maintaining low profiles, were unavailable to comment for this story. Trade to West African countries hit hardest by Ebola is reportedly down by 10 percent. With numbers of Ebola victims continuing to rise, officials here worry regional development could be set back by 10 years. Stephanie Fried, CCTV, Fort Acaria, Guinea.